AERD, Aspirin Exacerbated Respiratory Disorder, or Stamter's Triad. I suffer with it, others suffer with it, let me tell you about it. We are best known for having anosmia, or the lack of a sense of smell. That's right, folks, we can't smell anything. Flowers? Nope. Fresh baked bread? Nope. Perfume? Nope. We also can't smell smelly things like stinky feet public toilets, or a gas leak. There are three parts to it. Nasal polyps, ugh, asthma, and a sensitivity to NSAIDs, which is ibuprofen, naproxen, or aspirin. It affects a million people, or up to 7% of asthma sufferers. I also have little sense of taste. My friends find this fascinating. Yes, I can taste salty, sweet, sour, garlic, mint, and chocolate, but that's about it. I never ate salmon when I could taste it, but now I love it. Most adults are diagnosed between the ages of 30 and 50. It's not genetic. And usually some event triggers the disorder. Because it's so complicated to explain, we frequently end up telling people, I'm really sorry, I have a cold. Didn't, weren't you, didn't you have a cold last week? Or, I'm really not feeling very well. You get sick a lot. Ugh. Is there a cure? No. However, research is being conducted at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, and the million plus sufferers of AERD are hoping that something will be found to help us. Fortunately, there are people out there to help us. like my son. Mark, it might take a while for family to understand, but eventually they come around to the fact that you'll never feel 100% or even sometimes 50%. Thanks, Mark. Doctors, many of us, you see several doctors before we're finally diagnosed. However, once we find one who understands the disorder, this is Dr. Pramada who diagnosed me, and who won't think we're crazy, we stick to them like glue and publish their awesomeness on our Facebook group site. Yes, there is a worldwide Facebook group for AERD. Look it up. It's under Samter Society. If we can't laugh about the fact that we hoard tissue, toilet paper, and paper towels, even taking stacks of napkins from fast food restaurants to hide in our car glove compartment, or if we can't laugh about the fact that people know we're coming from a mile away by our sniffing, or if we can't laugh about the fact that our house septic system was overflowing and we didn't know it because we couldn't smell it, we won't survive. So on Thursday, September 26th, think about the million of us here on the planet attempting to get on with our lives with a spring in our step and a box of tissues.